So as I was browsing through YouTube for martial art related videos, I came across a lot of these. Fake Chinese masters getting destroyed. Yes, it is fair to say that the MMA fighter was a lot stronger than the Chinese martial art masters. However, as a comparison between two styles, I think this is not a smart way to do it. As this comparison becomes more extreme, I think the true potential of traditional Chinese martial arts are gonna get lost. And there must be a reason why so many people all over the world practice numerous types of Chinese martial arts. So I'd like to shine a light on Tai Chi and Chan Quan today. Tai Chi, according to Wikipedia, is an internal Chinese martial art practice for defense training, health benefits, and meditation. Some of you might recognize this as that martial art with super slow movement. Chang Kuang, on the other hand, is a martial art that is practiced before moving on to Tai Chi. It trains your body to move dynamically, even more than Shotokan, which is regarded as a dynamic style in karate. So I've reached out to Inami-san, who's been winning the All Japan Tai Chi tournament three years in a row. In today's video, we're trying out Chang Kwan. Enjoy. So we started off the practice with a very long warm-up slash stretching section, which lasted for around 30 minutes. You can see how much they take that seriously. The first similarity I noticed was through this neck stretch and the body twist um, warm-up. She makes it clear to keep her y-axis of the body, which is the center axis, straight at all times during these kind of movements as well. You can be relaxed at the other parts, however, you have to maintain your posture, which is very similar to Shotokan Karate. Also, she's not being sloppy with her clothes. In Tai Chi, she said that she can wear whatever she wants that she feels comfortable in, and that's what Tai Chi was originally like. And I felt like that was exactly the same back in the days in Okinawa too, when they trained karate. So this was my first challenge of the Tai Chi experience in the movement called Fan Yao. I'm sorry for the pronunciation. What you're doing here is you're tilting the axis forward, maintaining it straight and turning on that axis. It's just amazing that although she is tilting forward, the axis itself isn't curved. As for myself, you can see in this motion, I am trying my best to tilt forward. However, I'm so used to standing still perpendicular to the ground that I can't really turn in that direction. I guess by practicing the Fan Yao, you can really improve yourself on the jumps of Unsu and Kanku Sho. If you have any idea so far about how you can apply these small techniques of Tai Chi into karate, let me know in the comment section below. Now we're moving on to the Tai Chi kicks. And the two differences I noticed was the interpretation of our center and the knee usage. Let's start with the first point. Here, we are bringing the leg up and then down. Same power going up and down. You can see how Inami-san's posture is always straight, but it's not just straight. She is almost stretching out her backbone to get her body parts away from the center. As you can see with these various types of kicks, Inami-san is always keeping her power and the weight away from the center, keeping her posture very long and straight. The second difference I noticed was the knee usage. Let's take a look at this kick first. In the Tai Chi version, they keep both legs straight and they curve it around and slap the other side's hand. This kick seems very similar to the Mikatsuki Geri of Shotokan, the one you see in Heian Godan and Basai Dai, maybe in other katas too. This, you are slapping the hand in the kata, but the bunka itself is a mikatsuki geri, a curb mawashi geri. So what I'm talking about here is that it really felt like having a long pencil and writing on a piece of paper. Tai Chi trained me so that I can keep my body expanded while being in control of it. Also, to prepare myself for this wonderful Tai Chi experience, I have watched a couple of videos online, including YouTube and Skillshare, which has helped me a lot. If you don't know Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning platform where they offer a variety of classes for anybody to choose from, including martial artists. Personally, since I had no idea what Tai Chi was about, I have taken this introduction to Tai Chi flows with Heng Ni class, which has given me an overview of what Tai Chi is and what to expect from my class with Inami-san. Unlike the videos on social media, Skillshare has a variety of videos that are very long. So if you're the person that's looking for a longer video that you can follow along with, then I heavily recommend Skillshare. The sign up link is in the description below. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's go back to the episode. Now we're gonna be moving on to the punches and I know you're gonna benefit from this one. Three points mainly. First point, like she's showing us right now, you punch very far away 
in the Chang Kwan style. And she's telling us to punch from the hips, twist your body all the way to the front. This is very far compared to the Shotokan way. The second point is, although you're punching far, you don't want to get your shoulder up. Like she's t telling me right now, you got to get it all the way down. It's a very similar um, concept where we use the lat muscles for karate too. However, there's not a case where we put it out there all the way. So I think you can both train getting your punches further and stronger at the same time. So lat muscle, tighten it and twist your upper body like crazy. Now we're going to be trying out with speed. The third point is related to the impact. Right now, I am making a kime, like a shotokan way. I am stopping the motion. However, in choken or chankwan, they release the power forward. And this is very similar to the okinawan punches, if you guys um, notice. That one, the last three was okinawan punches. So you release the power at the end. So I'm getting gradually used to the movement. Now that was too close, so I gotta punch further. Like so. Yes, yes, this one is a lot better. Now moving on to their stances. Three feet apart, this is called a mabu stance, which is a horse stance um, in Tai Chi. The toes face forward, and you dip your hips down. Now we're going to be changing the stance to a bow stance, kombu. This is their front stance. However, the weight is 50-50. Shotokan stances are known to be very wide, but <laughs> look at this. This is even wider. So you make your posture first. Get your chest out wide. And with a block, you go into a mabu horse stance. And the Shotokan Kipodachi, you wake your pelvis up. However, in the mabu, you can tilt it slightly back. So she's telling me to sit back slightly. This was similar to the uh, Goju Ryu Shikodachi. So if you do sh um, Shito Ryu or Goju Ryu, I think you'll get um, used to this a little bit quicker. So from here, you're gonna turn the front leg and punch forward. And I gotta twist my upper body more and more and punch further. <laughs> you can already see me struggling with the flexibility. Oh, by the way, if you'd like to learn more about Inami-san and her classes, then please visit eastmartialarts.com from the description below. If you guys train this, I think you can get your gyakuzuki very far and strong and fast at the same time. So if you're struggling with your gyakuzuki distance, then you should try this out to maximize the distance. Yeah, you, I gotta drop my shoulders. This is actually a very good exercise. The last one was, yeah, this one was pretty good. So we've finished the first part of the Tai Chi episode. Please look forward to the second episode where I'm going to be trying out their kata, which was super slow and so much more difficult than I have expected. If you liked the video, please subscribe, hit on the notification bell so you don't miss out on the second episode. And like I mentioned before, at the end of this month, I'm going to be holding a free Zoom class. So please make sure you check that out from this video. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, and don't forget to check out my online group lesson from this link right here. See you guys next time.